So with that, welcome to the show, my friend and special guest, Mr. Van Sturgeon. Hello, Van. Welcome to the show. Well, I thank you very much, Jay, for having me. What a great introduction. Who is that guy that you just uh, named off, huh? I know it. I know it. Well, everybody already wants to know where you're originally from with that such romantic and emotional and a passionate accent, right? Well, I, I am uh, I, I'm a born and raised in Chicago, and then I spent half of my life over there, and then and then, uh, and I moved up to uh, to Toronto, Canada, and I spent time over there as well. So I'm a bit of a mutt. I'm a mixture of a bunch of things. Right. I got you. So you are living now where? Well, I, I spent half my time in uh, Toronto, Canada, as well as uh, half of it down in Miami Beach, Florida. Okay. So you're back and forth. That is correct. I, I'm not. A, I'm not too keen on the on the winter on that snow and a winter, all that kind of stuff. So I, I <laughs> like those, like those birds and the, you know, that they take off those Canadian geese. I'm one of them that heads down South. Oh, wow. Well, are you ready to jump in? I am, sir. I'm looking all forward right, to it. Well, let's jump in. Well, tell us what got you started in real estate. Well, uh, my story started, uh, I, I, I'm a product of the sixties and, uh, I was born and raised in Chicago, as I mentioned. And, um, my parents, uh, we lived in a one bedroom apartment with my little brother. And what happened was uh, my parents were say, trying to save up their money to buy their first home, their dream home. And ultimately, what ended up happening was they discovered that the apartment building that, that they were renting from uh, was actually had gone up for sale. So instead of buying their dream home, they, just, they put down a, their down payment, borrowed a bunch of money from friends and family, and uh, became landlords instead of uh, homeowners. And that's how got me introduc introduced into, the, uh, into multifamily or into real estate. Um, we, we purchased this apartment building and, um, what happened was in the late seventies, things kind of turned, kind of changed for the worse as, uh, you know, interest rates started climbing 18, 20%. The whole Iran hostage situation was occurring at the time. The economy was in the dumps and this uh, building that we had purchased that was fully occupied all of a sudden, uh, we were suffering anywhere between 40, 60%, uh, vacancy. And so as a, as a family, we had to do everything we could to try to survive, survive and hold on to that investment. And so we ended up uh, doing everything ourselves, whether it's painting, plastering, cleaning toilets, and God knows how many toilets I've cleaned in my life. Whatever it took to be able to hold on to that building and survive, uh, we did as a family. And so ultimately, uh, we were able to get through that early part of the you know, late 70s, early 80s. And uh, it was a great investment uh, that my parents made. Um, eventually went off to university, graduated, and uh, I could have gone off and become a lawyer, but I decided that I wanted to get it back into construction, renovation. That was really my calling. I really enjoyed it. And so uh, I, I broke the bad news to my parents because they were hoping that their, their, you know, their boy would have uh, become, you know, that, you know, that type of cat with the three-piece suit and alligator shoes. Um, I, I wasn't a lawyer. Uh, I, I decided I wanted to get into general contractors. So that's what I did. I opened up my business over there in Chicago, and as a slowly but surely over a period of time, I started to uh, grow my business and uh, was be successful. I was lucky in that I got in at the right time, but I kept Jay. I kept running into the same cats, those same individuals, uh, these real estate investors who would buy properties, renovate them, flip them, buy properties, hold on to them, uh, create a portfolio, and that's when <clears throat> that's when I started transitioning into doing that as well. So I had my general contracting business was growing and prospering, but I also started doing uh, flips and then moved on to actually holding, uh, creating a real estate portfolio. So that's, that's where I have been. I got you. So your rehabbing and, re and renovation experience, um, have you focused over the years more on rehabbing single family houses or commercial properties such as, you know, uh, apartments? Be honest with you, I've renovated uh, and I still do through my uh, through my renovation companies. Also, have a restoration company. Uh, I do both. I do uh, multifamily all the way down to commercial properties to single family homes. Um, so, yeah, so I have a diverse <laughs> experience. I've done literally, I've done thousands of renovations on residential and commercial as well. So, there isn't really much I haven't done in real estate. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. 